everyone, it's Lion here. Today I'm showcasing my latest creation, and that is this Lego tennis racket. It's based off of a Wilson tennis racket, and it's based off of a design built by Chris McVeigh, who's also a very talented builder. You may have seen his Instagram account called PowerPig. I definitely recommend checking him out because he does make a lot of really cool creations, and this one is based off of one of his. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out some of the features and also how I built this very intricate creation. The base is made up of a 3x3 section of plates and tiles and I used the snot technique to fit on the tiles onto the handle itself. Moving up you'll notice that I've built the main frame for the tennis racket onto these two parts over here. I'm not sure what they're exactly called but you'll see that they've got their bar there and that allows me to fit on those um, plates that have the horizontal clip. To create the intricate angles I used a lot of the parts that are adjustable they're pretty much just two one by twos on either side you can see those pieces used at the very back here and those hinged parts are used all over the place to achieve these different angles. You can also see how the angles lined up with the jumper plates over here as well. The frame is made using these 1x4 sections and then on the two sides, base and top, I've used 1x5 sections which gives it that rounded look. That's also where the strings are fitted into, meaning that the rest of the strings are sort of self-supported on each other in that cross-hatch method to give it strength and also the classic tennis racket look. On the side I also built this little tennis ball using one of the techniques from one of my previous videos. I like how proportionate it is to the racket, which I think is what also makes it more realistic. There will be more information about this mock on my website, so make sure to go check that out. But that is all I have for today's video, so until next time, thanks for watching.